Alright, here we go again. Um, I was just reading through the um, blog comments and I saw one that suggests I talk about how Brad and I met. Um, it was a cold night in November, actually. I was driving along, he was walking uh, alongside the street. <laughs> I like how Brad's listening to me. <laughs> Whatever, okay, <laughs> that's a lie. Um, we met, uh, I guess it's a long story. I was hanging out with this kid in high school, and um, his uh, sister, for all practical reasons, um, hung out with Brad. So <laughs> I was over hanging out with um, my friend, and we often hung out with his sister. And uh, she was going over uh, things on her computer, pictures and things. And I saw this kid in a little tiny Speedo at the beach. I was like, wow, he's really cute, you know. Who is he? And uh, not thinking that anything would come of it. Uh, my friend's sister was like, well, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's see about hooking you guys up. Something like that. And we talked over the internet for like, um, I don't know, forever. And um, we both did the cute thing where... We'd say things on our um, live journals at the time, and um, it would refer to having feelings for some person, but we never really mentioned the person. And then all of a sudden, over AIM, we're like, oh, well, I was talking about you. And I was like, well, I was talking about you. And um, then I went over, uh, no, actually it was a, um, what was it? It was a, a football game. It was a football game. I think it was a football game. But we didn't actually end up staying at the football game. We went out to the mall. And, um... At the mall. I don't really remember too much at the mall. I remember... There were... Girls in the trunk of one of the cars. That might have been on the way to the mall. And... I remember an elevator ride. I don't remember what happened on the elevator ride, but there was an elevator ride. And that sounds kind of exciting now. But I digress. Um, yeah, so after that we pretty much uh, hit it off. We've had um, a small little fluke thing for a couple months, but then um, we went to France together and we ended up getting back together, which was kind of sweet. So I guess I could have told you a mystical, magical story about us meeting in France and getting together. But I didn't. I told you the truth. If you want lies, listen to his blog. I'm sure he lies plenty in it for both of us. Evidently he didn't hear that one. He's in the room right behind me, by the way. He can pretty much hear everything that I'm saying. Although I didn't listen to his, I cranked the music. But he's listening to me. Rant and ramble. And it's... Not really too weird, because I talk to myself all the time at work, so it's just like I'm talking to myself now, except I have somewhere to look. And until I keep looking at the computer screen, I'm not looking at you anymore, I'm looking at the computer screen. Um, yeah, so I was just checking out uh, things on the internet here. Logging on to YouTube. I can't spell my name. Yeah, so what was I talking about? Um, I don't remember what I was talking about before. But anyway, that's how Brad and I met. Um, how we managed to stay together, I don't know. We really don't have much of anything in common. Uh, we don't really share too many interests. Um, he yells at me, I yell back at him. Shut up. He gets in all of my webcam shots when I leave him alone for an hour to do his. Walks around in his underwear while all of America's watching him. I didn't think of that, okay? Just don't let the cow out of the barn. No. It's for another blog, another time. 
which you'll have to pay for. It never gets milked anyway. Whoa. I don't know what he's talking about. There's plenty of milking going on with that cow. Bootsy wants out. Let Bootsy out. Bootsy's our cat. Oh, she's crazy. We get her fixed, like, last month or something. And, um... She's just been nuts ever since. She's been crazy. Not even kidding. Um, it's funny. I look at how all my shots are broken up. And just about every freeze frame, I have a really weird face. Like I'm doing something crazy. You, you may notice I keep on playing with my eyelash... I have a really long eyelash right there, and I can't ever seem to find it. And it just keeps on growing back, even though I move it. I have very curly eyelashes. They're very feminine. Um, yeah, so that's how Brad and I met. Uh, what else was I talking about? I love traveling. I think I'd mentioned that. Hope to go to Florida this winter. That'd be nice. Um, I guess. I guess that's all there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I forget what I was gonna say. You ever do that? You just forget what you're gonna say. No, I'm not doped up on opium or something. I just, it's like quarter past ten. Uh, usually I am up this late, but I'm lying in bed, um, reading, watching something on TV. No, I, that's a lie. Most nights I'm not watching TV this early. bored really easy. It's because I don't have any interests. I don't have any things that I like to do. So I find myself bored most of the time trying to thinking of trying to... Uh, I'm sorry, I had a small stroke. Let's uh, revamp, rewind. Blah, 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 blah. Trying to think of things to do because I'm bored. Uh, me and my friend Gina, hi Gina, we often would sit in parking lots for hours in my vehicle, um, trying to think of something to do, which usually ended up bad. We could never think of anything to do. We would just sit there and be bored. As ridiculous as that sounds, uh, that was... <laughs> if it wasn't so weird for one person to do it, I would probably still do it all the time. But, uh, no, I don't do it all the time now. Cause that'd probably be kind of creepy. Uh, I've been on to board.com. I've sent text messages to people uh, that uh, from a different number. It's a, a great site. It's a lot of fun. Um, so they don't know who's sending it to them. That's fun for like two hours, maybe three if you milk it. Um, After that, it's kind of bored. Boring. I, just, I can't talk tonight. I'm sorry, I can't talk. So I've got like 45 seconds left. I could talk about my life. Um, let's see. My mother was adopted. So I have two grandmothers there. I'm very close to her adopted mother. Um, my father was not adopted. I have a stepmother. Um, I'm pretty close to her parents. Um, so I've got a lot of grandparents floating around there. Um, I'm relatively close to my great-grandmother. Great. Well, we're nearing up on ten minutes. Tomorrow night will be my life history. In ten